In this video, I'm going to show you how to remaster an axis of the robot. Occasionally when traveling with the robot, an axis of the robot can get tweaked, which means that the robot doesn't really know where that motor is anymore. So I'm going to show you first what that looks like, uh, how to know that that's your problem, and then I'll show you how to fix it. So let's go right over here into Sisu Lab. Um, looking at the timeline, I'm, I'm holding the enable button, trying to move it. it, never clicks in, you know something's wrong. If I look at the sim, that safety reset button is flashing and it will not reset. And all my e-stops are out. I know it's not an e-stop an e issue either. So what we're gonna do, uh, we're gonna get out the KUKA pendant and I'm gonna show you how to verify that this is your problem there. So now I'll show you on the KUKA pendant how to know if that's your problem or not. So what we're gonna do um, is just click right here on the errors and messages. Say confirm all, that'll get rid of some of your messages. And then it'll, you'll, you'll see one that says perform mastering A2 or A3 or whatever that, that is. Uh, if you do see that, that means that you need to remaster that access. Uh, so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go ahead and jump right into the process to remaster A2. And the process is basically the same for the other ones. Uh, I'll show you A2 and we'll, uh, we'll be sure and post uh, pictures of the different locations for mastering on the other axes. The first step will be going to the sim and turning your key switch to A for auto. And then we're gonna put the KUKA pendant in T1. And we do that by flipping this switch, clicking T1, flip the switch back. Next step, logging in as an expert. You do that by clicking on this little icon here with the people. You tap on expert, and then it requires a password. That password is either K or KUKA. Um, I know this one is K, and then I say enter. We're logged in as an expert now. The next thing we're gonna do is we're going to move A2 to the position where we need it uh, to be able to master it. So what I'll do is on the back, uh, I hold the enable, you'll see these turn green. If it doesn't say A2, A1, A2, A3, blah, 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 uh, what you can do is tap on the icon right above there and make sure that axes is selected. Okay, now I'll hold the enable on the back. And then for A2, uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna move it. What we want to do is if You'll see right here on uh, the bottom of this, uh, this joint. So this is where the uh, A2 motor is. On the bottom, there's a, a white line here and there's a white line, a, a groove here. And we want to line those up. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna hold the enable and then I'm going, uh, I'm just gonna move. Uh, oh, I went negative. That was the wrong direction. I'll go positive. I'm just moving until I get those lined up fairly well. Okay, that looks really good. All right, now that we've got the uh, that axis in position, this is where your mastering kit comes in handy. It looks something like this. We're gonna open it up and there's a couple of cables and then there's a box and then there's a, a probe. Uh, we're gonna need all of those things. So first thing we're gonna do we're gonna take this thicker cable here and we're going to plug it in to what says X32 on the robot. So I've got the end that has the metal pins. I'm going to plug it in right there, just push it on. And then the other end of that plugs into the box. So same thing, just push it on. Next, I'm going to get the thinner cord here. And I take this end and I match up the pins to the holes and I screw that on. And just screw it on until it's hand tight. All right, and then I'm gonna set this down for a sec and I'm going to grab the probe. 
uh, you'll notice it's got a little screwdriver on the back. That's going to come in handy because I'm going to use that to take the cap off. Okay, just loosen it up and then use my fingers to take it off. All right, now the front end of that, the front end that says, it says KUKA and MEMD sensor, that is going to screw on right there where the cap was. All right, now we go, in, we, we go back to the uh, this thinner cable and that loose end, we plug right into the back of the probe. All right, before we jump back into the remastering process, I just wanna talk you through what we're actually doing here. As you can see on this, on this back metal piece, there's a groove and the probe is going to what it's gonna do is it's gonna look for that valley uh, on that groove. So it's going to move a little bit to the left and right uh, so it can know exactly where that low point is. Now we're ready to go back to the Kuka Pendant and actually perform the uh, remastering. Just as a note, uh, after some time, it will log you out as an expert. So you may have to go back in and do that if it takes you a while to, to go through those steps. But now I'm ready to uh, perform the, the remastering. So I'm gonna click this home button, which is either up here, I think on some of the older pendants, it's down on the bottom right. But I click on that guy. I'm going to click on startup, master, EMD, standard, set mastering. Okay, it shows robot access two, because that is the one that needs to be remastered. So now what I want to do is I want to move that probe until it's right in the valley of that, that groove. So what I'm going to do, I use the enable and I use the plus and minus buttons. Until I'm right on. All right. That looks pretty good. You'll see that this light went green. Uh, that means that uh, it, is in range, the probe depth is in range to begin the test. Before I actually run the test though, I wanna move slightly in the positive direction. So I'm just gonna hold the enable, push the positive button until it just barely moves. Um, you kinda of want it to be right, almost right on top of that valley on the positive side. All right, so now we're ready to run the test. What we'll do is we'll say master and then you hold the enable. It says start key required. So that is referring to this right pointing arrow and you're just going to hold that button at the same time as the enable. And it is going to begin that test and it's going to move very slowly. You won't even notice it. All right. And there we go. It says robot master. So that's what it looks like when you successfully master the robot. If it fails, uh, it will basically say um, you lose, try again, and you just start the process over. Uh, you, you probably got a little too far off to one side or the other. It only goes so far to, to try to find that groove. So if, it's tr if it tried to go too far, it didn't find it, then you probably just need to move in a little bit towards the middle uh, from where you started the previous time. So we cleared that error successfully. Now let's just basically undo all the setup we did for that. It's important not to get too excited and get right back into programming and leave this probe and the other cables hanging out because you're probably gonna break it. So first thing, unplug that. Unplug X32. We can twist off the probe. Put the cap back on. You can use your handy dandy Kuka screwdriver to tighten it on. Your X32 cap can go back on. And then the cable in the box, the cables and the box will just go back right in the case. And then be sure to turn it back to 
external control mode by using that switch and clicking EXT. Now you're ready to put the KUKA pendant away. The last step, of course, is then to turn your key switch back to T1. And hold the enable, you hear the glorious sound of the robot clicking in and you're good to go. That's how you remaster an axis on the robot.